guys! Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. So today we have a favorites video for you guys. We have a little bit of beauty products, some skincare products, and a couple other random things in between. So let's just jump right in. So the first thing that I've been loving recently is a new scent, which is kind of rare for me because I don't really like, I don't know, I'm not like a big perfume person. I mean, I usually stick to like, um, like vanilla sprays or just like, I don't know, like stuff like, like sweet that. Smells. Yeah. yeah. But I recently got this perfume and it's by the brand Royal Apothic. And look at the packaging. Like how cute is it? Like the packaging is everything. So like chic, so like, like royal and bougie. I don't yeah. know. I just feel so bougie every time I put this on. But anyways, um, the scent is, I think it says, Floth House Peony? Yeah. Floth, Floth House Floth Peony? House? I don't know. But let me just open it so you can see how cute the bottle is. If I can open it. Okay. Alright, we're back. So, so it's like a wooden box and then it says Royal Apothic on the side. And then, hold on. I love this box. I know. We've been so into like greenery and just like nature like yeah, just like natural really, like, yeah. like earthy things mm -hmm. this box like literally i would put it on our table <laughs> right now like our coffee table just on display just like as a little cute piece of decor yeah seriously and then okay are you guys ready for the bottle <laughs> it's so cute I don't know if you guys can see, but like the top of it is literally like a ceramic rose. flower, like flower. a rose, it's a peony. It's probably it's a, a peony. peony. Duh. 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 <laughs> Flawless Duh. peony. Yeah, whatever that means. But yeah, it's so freaking pretty. Like, look at that. I hope you guys can see it. And even like the color and of the Yeah, bottle. like it's like an ombre blush color and it's just like so... Beautiful. Yeah, it's such a pretty perfume bottle. But anyways, and it smells really good. Just like a little bit like kind of florally, obviously mm -hmm. it's peony. Yeah. But it's light. I don't know. So that's that. I've been loving this as of recently. Okay, so as you guys know, it's been hella cold out here. Like the cold is on another level. I don't know. Like I'm used to the cold because we're from Michigan and it's really cold out there too. But for some reason, like, the air is just yeah. so crisp True. and cold, and it just hits my face, and it's bad. I just want to die. It's literally bad. So my skin has been paying for it so much. I'm so dry to the point where I'm, like, peeling. And I, I'm not very, like, dry type. Like, I have combo skin, so I will get a little dry here and there. But, like, this is, like, on another level for me. So on that note, I've had to, like really take care of that meaning like exfoliating using masks oils hydrating things like that so i have a couple of skincare products for this and this one is by first aid beauty it's their facial radiance polish which is basically an exfoliator and i'm loving this little guy it's super super gentle this one is um safe for sensitive skin which is why I picked it up since you guys know that I do have sensitive skin and it helps it says it helps exfoliate brighten and purify and it does do just that before I started using this my face was so dull and it was just like so irritated and everything and ever since I started using this irritation has gone away I don't feel like it's as dull and I'm not you know peeling as much and my skin is not so dry yeah so I would definitely recommend getting a good exfoliator if you are dry or have more dry skin because you want to kind of get rid of all of that dry dead skin so that you have yeah. beautiful flawless skin can you see any of that seriously yeah, yeah. she like this one day she was like girl put moisturizer on like, like I did like a little bit like, like a reptile. No, I and then like I care. did it, like I swear, but it just like no matter what, I was just so extremely dry. So I've been, you know, trying to no. take care of that now yeah. before it gets even colder. Control. So get this if you are like me and you are dealing with some really dry skin this time of year. So since we're talking about skincare, I have just like two products that I've been loving, and you guys know I love the Ula Henriksen 
line, like all of their products. Like They're I'm so obsessed good. with the Truth Serum. And they sent us a few of their um, products from the, uh, the Balance line. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ula Henriksen, for sending us these goodies. Amazing. So oh, and by the way, disclaimer, we're not paid to say any of this. This is not a sponsored video. Like we always say, you know, all yeah. opinions are our own. Just they product get a bit stuff to us, but it's we're not paid to say this. And so me personally, I have a little bit of oily skin, especially in my T zone. Well, like, yeah, mainly in my T zone. I get pretty oily throughout the day. And I've noticed such a difference after you like after I've been using these products for a little while now. And okay, so this is the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner, and it has um, it's a green fusion complex, neem seed oil, salicylic acid, AHAs, and I think it has some tea tree tea tree in there. I'm not sure, but it smells very earthy. But um, it really really helps with the oil. It combats the oil so well. Like I'll use this at night after you know I wash my face and everything like that and I'll wake up in the morning and my face just looks very matte but like refreshed. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it does a really good job and you can even use this in the morning. And then in combination with that, I use the Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator and this is just a very lightweight moisturizer. And it has the same, oh, it has rosehip fruit extract, which is the only only difference between the two, which is very good for um like if you have like dark marks, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure rose yeah, oil it helps is. to like even out your skin tone. Yeah. So yeah, and I I kinda only use this in my T zone area and then I'll use like a little bit of a heavier moisturizer like on the rest of my face just because I do have combo skin, so I'll get oily in my T zone and then a little bit drier in the rest of my face. So that's how I like to use those products, and I've been loving them. Okay, so, since we're still talking about skin, what I've been doing, like I said, is exfoliating mask in oil. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this mask that I've been loving. loving. It's by Coco's, Orga Coco's Organics, which is a brand that we featured in a, another video of ours. I think it was another skincare video. Yeah, literally every single product is so 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 good it's like right up my alley everything is natural vegan all that good stuff which i love so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and apply the mask um i leave it on for about like five to ten minutes i don't like it to get completely dry you should never really let any mask get completely dry um and then you can either wipe it off with like a, a wet like cloth or what I'll do is I'll do that, like I'll kind of like wipe it off and then whatever residue or whatever's left behind, I'll take the um, exfoliator and I'll just kind of help, I'll use that to help me get rid of everything else and my skin is like literally a baby's bottom. Literally. But um, you guys know that I love this brand, I featured it in our last skincare video and there's actually an exfoliator. Um, that has peppermint in it that I leave in the shower and I love that one just as much. So good. But as of lately, I've just been using the first aid one and it's been perfect for my sensitive skin. Okay, so my next favorite is a product that I've been using for a minute now and it's this self tanning lotion by Luna Bronze. You guys can see. Try to get a close up. But yeah, I've been using this for a couple months now and it's quickly became my holy grail. Like I put this on every time I get out of the shower and it just gives you such like a natural looking tan. You don't look orange or anything like that. And um, it's actually cruelty free and vegan and it's made with mandarin, lemon, myrtle, and orange blossom. But anyways, yeah, besides my body, I also put this a little bit on my face. I'll mix it with my moisturizer. And it just gives me like a nice little glow with um, underneath my makeup. So I've been really loving that and I actually got it from Urban Outfitters if you're wondering. Okay, so I'm not really one to use like facial oils on my skin because I don't like that feeling. Um, I know there are like oils out there that really just like soak into your skin and kind of dry up. And so there's one that I've been using. This is from Estee Lauder. This is the Advanced Night Repair. It's basically a facial oil. 
And so this little guy is so good. And I know I keep saying that, but obviously these are like my favorites. Perfect. So this is what the bottle looks like. Just looks like so. And it's really cool. It has like this dropper, this dropper like applicator. So you can just like dot it on or apply it, you know, to the, to the face directly. And I'll just take like a little amount, enough to cover my entire face, but not more than that to like saturate my face because like I said I don't like that feeling but this one really does just seep into the skin and I leave it on you know overnight obviously and the next morning it's just like a miracle in a bottle my skin feels so good it looks so healthy it's not dry at all and any or anything like that so I've really been loving this one I this is my second bottle I was using this like maybe a year ago, repurchased it because it's just that good and it honestly is. If you are in the market for, you know, like a night cream or a night oil or even just like an oil because you could definitely wear it throughout the day, I would highly recommend this one. It's definitely worth it. I know it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's honestly worth every single penny. For my last favorite, I've been loving this um, eyelash conditioner by Revitalash and um, it's just like a little... Like I'm sure you guys have seen these before, just like a little, looks like um, like a liquid liner applicator. And um, I haven't been using this for too long now, but I have noticed a little bit of a difference with my lashes. Um, like I'll only wear mascara now, I don't wear like liquid liner or anything like that. And I feel like my lashes are a lot more fuller. And I don't know, like I can just put mascara on. I don't yeah, know, I don't they, look, look, they look like thicker thicker like that's they're the more word. like dense like fuller fuller like said yeah yeah like definitely. i just feel like they're like fuller and my eyes look like and my eyes way. just before look very like i didn't have eyelashes because my lashes are very like straight they don't really have like a yeah. curl natural curl to them so i feel like without mascara you couldn't really see my lashes at all um so I feel like with this, it has really helped them to grow and just condition them and everything like that. Okay, so I have a few beauty products to show. Um, and this palette is by e.l.f. And it's the Matte for Matte 2 palette. It's in Summer Breeze. This palette is gorgeous. It's so, so, so pretty. It's literally all I've been using. It's like all you need. Those all the perfect fall colors. It's literally like every single color that you ever need. All the colors are pretty neutral. There's like a pop of like a, like a brick red, which I love. There's a little bit of an orange one. There's purple, brown, and a black. And the black is super black. The brown is gorgeous. Um, none of them apply patchy, not that I've experienced. I have um, a few of the shades on my lids today for this look that I created. And I just love this guy. It's like perfect. All the shades are matte, which is what I personally like because I like to just add shimmer where I want it to be. So um, I adore this palette. The pigmentation is on point. The color payoff is beautiful. The way that it applies is gorgeous. It's literally $10 for, I think it's 10 shadows. And it's worth every single penny. It's all I've been wearing like the past few weeks and I'm loving it. So if you do come across it, make sure to pick it up. And the last beauty favorite that I have are these lip paints by Tarte. I got them in a little set, so these are like little mini ones and they're so cute. They're so cute. Like, anything mini is just like adorable. And they're such pretty colors. All oh, they're so pretty. These are just the ones that, um, that I have to show. They came in a little set, like I said, and they're the lip paints by the um, Tarteiste Tarte line. And I love these because, number one, Tarte is cruelty-free. Number two, they're paraben-free, fragrance-free, all that good stuff. And number three, they apply beautifully. They are so, so, so nice on the skin. They, they don't, like, make my lips feel dry or anything like that, even though they're a lip paint. So they're long-lasting, but they're so comfortable, and they just wear so beautifully. So I've been loving Loving, loving, loving these guys. So those were our favorites as of now. 
Um, we just wanted to show a little bit of our, you know, skincare, beauty, and everything else in between. If you guys did like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions on videos that you want to see, comment them down below, and we will be sure to do that. We love you guys so, 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 so much, and we'll see you guys in our next one. All the love.